So someone may want you to open up their heart to them. <clears throat> it may take you a little bit of time. You're being guided by your ancestors. You have a lost loved one that watches over you, more than one likely. These came out sideways. Someone has a confession. Someone has something to tell you. This has something to do with a gold digger that they're attached to, or this is you, um, that has something to talk about regarding a gold digger, but they want your money. Someone's being used. <clears throat> Someone has a confession regarding a gold digger situation. <clears throat> and fake karma, something ending, something beginning. That came out sideways. So someone could want to confess that they are ending things with a gold digger. Um, so this could be someone who's cutting off a karmic cycle, ending a karmic cycle um, with somebody who is just trying to use them for their money. This person may have decided to heal themselves or work on inner healing. You could have been spending some time alone healing or, you know, been single for a while. Someone didn't have a positive outcome because they were on the wrong path. So if they chose a path with a gold digger, it did not end well for them. Or it didn't go well for them, and that's why they need to close the cycle out and end something with them. Possibly because they want to partner up with you. And someone's an official person. This could be you or them. So someone could be an official person here. Like Hierophant energy. If anything else is going to come out. Anything else about this official person? Guess not. Um, that is way too much. But I'll take these first three. Someone wants to partner up with you. Guess who? So this may be a surprise to you. It may be somebody that you haven't seen for a while. Or you may be surprised to hear from. Maybe the last time you spoke to them or saw them. Uh, they were dealing with somebody else. Or they chose to be with somebody else. They could have made a commitment to somebody else. So... Maybe things didn't get too serious with you. Someone could have been in bad health. Or, um, yeah, let me see if any other cards comes out. <clears throat> so someone was in a partnership and they weren't happy. <clears throat> they feel like they wasted their time and someone could have been in bad health or they were feeling sick when they were with this person. And if they were a gold digger, maybe they suspected that somebody was trying to do something to their food or drink. They were really tired watching you, um, or just watching something. They could have been watching you on social media, or they were just bored. They could have spent a lot of time on the internet. Someone was just wasting their time, biding their time. Eating well is the best revenge. Someone was out for revenge. Somebody thinks that um, another person was doing something out of revenge or spitefulness. So one person may have been um, spending a lot of time alone or on the internet in this connection that this person was dealing with, um, or this could be you who was dealing with this person, but somebody was being revengeful and spiteful. Someone here is taking life one cup at a time, so this, this could be you. You have that like Susie homemaker energy, so that's like domestication. I'm getting like a domestication energy or domesticated <laughs> energy. I mean, you know, so you could just be at home taking care of the home, your family. Um, someone knows that someone they're partnered with just won't let them go because they have their hand out. It's like someone just doesn't want to let them go. Because they want money. It's not about love. So someone could be um, financially codependent on someone to support them. 
but they may not necessarily be faithful to them or this may just this isn't a happy situation or a good relationship whatever it is and someone could have been trying to cause another person bad health maybe to get some insurance money or something or someone was feeling sick and they started questioning whether or not somebody was being revengeful or spiteful Someone could have actually put something in someone's food if they thought that they were cheating on them on the internet or something, like to teach them a lesson. <clears throat> or if they found them watching you, like if you have a platform, somebody may have gotten offended if someone caught another person like watching you or whatever it is that you do online, or they could have gotten caught checking out like your social media or your platform, something like that. And so somebody decided to do something out of revenge or spitefulness someone could have spent some more money than they should have it's like someone had their hand out they were expecting some money or something and so they could have like you know went on a little shopping spree on this person's behalf something is being laid to rest though once again a decision has been made but there's a barrier so there's something that's stalling this out or something is frozen at this time Someone has made the decision to lay something to rest in the situation, but there's something that's stopping it from happening. Maybe it's just slowed down or something has come to a stop. <clears throat> there's going to be a message of communication, though. So there's something that's stopping this person from communicating this to you. This could have been someone that you were in a relationship with or they want to communicate to you that they're no longer with this person or there was a split up with the two of cups situation. Maybe this has already happened for them, but they're hesitating on communicating with you. Maybe because if you were with this person, there could have been a bad breakup. Someone may want to give you a gift or help bring financial balance to a situation. So someone may want to be financially generous to you. And it could be this person, maybe they want to donate to you or your channel or something like that. There's someone here that's been waiting for a while on an offer. Someone was in their King of Wands energy, so if this is somebody that you separated with, you know, they could have been very non-committal and maybe they were going back and forth between you and someone else. Maybe you warned this person that they were dealing with a gold digger and they didn't want to hear it. Financial balance is going to be restored for you. You're focused on your financial security. Your financial stability is going to be good. You have a treasure coming to you or someone sees you as a treasure. Even though you are coming across as the wounded warrior, somebody does see a Ten of Cups situation with you. Somebody was just focused about money. That's all they cared about. And then we have a Queen of Wands and something being brought to light about a Queen of Wands and not having a positive outcome. So there's a treasure, something that somebody sees valuable or sees you as valuable. There's a happy, stable home, but there's a Queen of Wands and something being brought to light about this person. So maybe you were this person's divine counterpart at one time, or you were supposed to be. Um, and so something could be being illuminated to you about this person. So this could have been somebody from your past, somebody that you were with, had a connection with, somebody that you may have viewed as your divine counterpart, or there's some sort of soul tie or soul connection here. And then we have a King of Pentacles. So, in the past, they may have come across as um, King of Wands, and maybe you're, maybe, I feel like there was an energy of going back and forth, like, runner chaser, but it's like, I feel like you guys may have taken turns doing this to each other, like, in a relationship, it's like, one would get close, the other one would back off, and then maybe you broke up and tried to reconcile again, and then, you know, one wanted to move in and, you know, like, move in closer or, you know, uh, take the relationship to, like, the next step and then the other person would run. But there's something that's being illuminated or brought to light by a King of Pentacles here. Maybe this masculine has wealth now. Maybe they want to come back to you in their King of Pentacles energy. Um, or this could be a separate person altogether that wants to send you a message, but I feel like it's the same person, though. 
Yeah, I think it is. Because something's being illuminated. It could be a separate person, you know, a wealthy businessman or someone who's accumulated some wealth. Um, and there was a betrayal. So there was a, you know, not a positive outcome because of some sort of betrayal. So, you know, maybe this person cheated on you when you were with them when they were in their King of Wands energy. But they've been admiring you and they've been, you know, they've been watching you and maybe that's the barrier that's standing in their way. Is maybe if they chose a gold digger over you or cheated on you or there was some sort of infidelity. They're hesitant about coming towards you because they don't know how you're going to react. You could be in your Queen of Swords energy. Maybe they admire that about you. So you could have both been like natural born leaders. You could have complimented each other really well. And, um, I hate to say it, but, you know, the king of wands, they could have married a queen of wands, okay? So they could have married this gold digger. And so maybe this person has to get divorced before they can come towards you. Yeah, this person betrayed you by lying to you. So if they, you know, they, this person lied to you about this person that they were connected to, uh, some sort of truth. Someone's going to be in despair, though. Because of some sort of lie that was told. Or some sort of betrayal. This could even be you in despair over finding out about what this betrayal is about. Yeah, King of Swords and the Reverse. So someone was a liar. could have been your ex-spouse so this could have been like your ex-spouse or something like that and they ended up marrying a gold digger there's some sort of truth that's going to be exposed that's going to be very devastating or heartbreaking to somebody something is being illuminated educated there's going to be a message of truth there's something important some sort of knowledge wisdom the more you know someone's getting educated this could be at the king of swords who's getting educated about you or there's some sort of message that's going to send to be illuminating regarding some sort of betrayal that's going to have you in despair possibly about what your ex did to you <clears throat> All right, when I split the deck here, the challenge is if something isn't moving forward. Someone can't move or travel. And then we have someone here who's held in high honor. So we have a king of swords here who could have lied about traveling or isn't able to travel towards someone who's held in high honor or travel towards you. These could be two different X's altogether, or it could be the, like the same person. So somebody is out of options. Someone, this King of Swords, they they lied and they got themselves backed into a corner with something. We have a King of Cups here who's at a crossroads, who has a decision to make, or some sort of information. A King of Cups, I don't know, did I say King of Wands? Um, <clears throat> there's some sort of information that a King of Cups is finding out, and there's a decision to make. So, whatever information that's being brought to light, um, this King of Cups has a decision to make on which direction they want to go or what they want to do. So, this King of Cups, there could be some, this could be another masculine that's connected to this in some sort of way and they know about what's going on here they know about some sort of betrayal that happened to you and they could want to come towards you and they're trying to figure out if they should tell you and maybe how to tell you because they know it's going to be very devastating for you to hear whatever this is big transformation big changes are coming these came out sideways in despair in a tower moment oh jesus so whatever information this is, whatever betrayal this is, it's going to bring a huge tower moment. Oh, and big changes. Because there was some sort of communication that someone was having with someone. And this King of Cups sees you as their divine partner, their divine person.
That's interesting. There's a lot of masculine energy up in here. So some sort of communication by someone like playing around with their options. Someone could have had more options than they let on. With the King of Swords, so someone could have lied about who, you know, they were messing around with, who they were dealing with. There was some sort of information or communication that could have cost someone their financial security, their stability within a family. So this person could be taking a financial hit, like possibly in a separation or divorce because they were lying and pro possibly dealing with multiple people. So this could be pretty heartbreaking if this King of Swords, you know what, you have, this is once again two, I feel like this is two separate issues. What the hell is going on with these married dudes? These are two different married couples. Maybe even two of your exes. I don't know, at least one of them is. I feel like maybe the first one is with the two of cups in the reverse. The King and Queen of Wands. That's one married couple, and the King and Queen of Swords could be another couple here. Um, and you could be the King of Cups, like, in your masculine energy. And so this King of Swords in the reverse. Um, was trying to keep their options open, and they were lying, so, like, they were non-committal to a queen of swords there's a betrayal with a, a king of swords and a queen of swords here and they lied about traveling or something like that there's some sort of addiction or obsession or something really taboo about this um, partnership with this king of cups and it could be this king of swords who's coming to you as the king of cups like they couldn't commit to you before because they were married jesus man where are you gonna find these people? <laughs> this is definitely two different married couples. And you can be a feminine in your, in your masculine energy, or this is a masculine that's coming to you. And we have the Queen of Pentacles that came out sideways. So that could be a Divine Femmes energy. So it could be a king of cups who wants to come towards um, a queen of pentacles and tell them some sort of information that's going to be devastating. I don't know. Someone's going to be devastated, man. There, There's a big tower moment. I feel like there's a lot of people that's going to be devastated. But this queen of pentacles is a strong mamma jamma. Um, you know, they have the strength and courage to deal with something, to deal with this situation or courage and strength are, is going to be needed when this tower moment hits because someone has made a decision to bring balance to a situation. I feel like they're not happy wherever they're at or whatever it is they're doing or who they're doing it with. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Jeez. Oh my, this is such a Jerry-ass Springer... I feel like this is all part of, like, one big family thing. Like, I don't know. I just heard a family affair. I don't know what the hell this is. Like, I'm seeing two different married couples here. Someone who was not faithful. Like, the Queen of Wands in the reverse. And a barrier and an emotional situation. So... I don't know, maybe you guys are just like, maybe at one time you guys were, um, you know, uh, this is a friends group or family, somehow, they're, you know, I don't know, um, you all know each other somehow, but this Queen of Wands created an emotional situation, so, you know, this um, King of Wands that you were connected to in some sort of way, Divine Femme, they ended up with Queen of Wands, they got cheated on, you know, um, and someone was in bad health, so it's like, you know, someone felt like someone was sick or someone was in bad health. They felt sick. So it was something to do with the king and queen of wands energy. Someone may have gotten caught putting something in someone's food. Um, so that person, you know, that marriage may be having its issues, whatever situation that is. 
this other couple here, this other situation we have going on. Once again, there's not a happy family. Someone's a liar. You know, there's a king of swords who was lying about having options or, you know, entertaining multiple options. Um, either way, there's like multiple um, betrayals. Like all these betrayals are very devastating. It's like one hit after another. If this is like a family of like, I don't know, maybe siblings, like maybe this is you and your siblings and like your ex and then like, you know, maybe your siblings, spouse, whoever that is. I don't know. I just feel like something could be related or connected like as far as family goes or by marriage or something like that. Maybe we'll get some more clarity the further we get into this mess. Someone has money coming to them with a Knight of Pentacles. Like, there could even be a third couple with the King and Queen of Pentacles. So this could be up to three different couples here within a family situation or a family unit. Someone's not getting a clean slate. There's an empress here, feminine energy, who's not getting a clean slate or a new beginning. Because someone wants to partner up with the divine femme here. Someone, there's a group of people here, community. This, this union has family support or community support. There's a group of people here who supports this union <clears throat> of them coming towards you with a Two of Cups situation. Oh, man. I'm just getting like this wife swapping energy thing again. Okay. Um, so somebody was not admirable. Someone did something that was not admirable. They could have gone towards somebody with a slippery offer, you know, like that gold digger energy. There was some sort of communication that somebody was not compassionate about. Someone's obsessed about this Two of Cups situation, though. They're, it's like an addiction. It's like they're obsessed with this. Or like a family that's obsessed with this union or community. I don't know. What is this? Like a rich-ass family that like has arranged marriages or some shit? No offense. Um... But there's an empress here who was not compassionate, and they did something really slick to cause someone some heavy burden. So this could have been an empress who was jealous of someone, and so they took some sort of action, or they were trying to be <clears throat> revengeful or spiteful regarding something. Here we have this king of wands, and a tower moment, and then the someone who is not held in high honor. So... This is that King and Queen of Wands energy, so that's that marriage, that's that situation. This King of Wands wants to partner up with a Divine Femme energy, which could be the Queen of Pentacles. Um, we'll just say Divine Femme, because we've had a lot of feminine energies pop out of here. Um, but this person, like, there's a lot of support regarding this union. And I'm getting that there's not a lot of family support or a lack of support with who this King of Wands ended up being married to. Or um, could have been a second marriage, okay? So it could have been that they chose this person over you. Or that this is like they were married to you and you guys split up and this was like their second marriage or something like that. Um, whatever the situation is, okay? Um, you were connected to this person at one time. Or they chose someone... Um, you could have maybe never been married to this person, but you were connected to them, at least in a Two of Cups situation. And there's family support with this union. So, there's there's a family here that really likes this union, but they ended up with a psycho-ass empress in reverse, who um, more than likely cheated on this person, that may have cheated and been a gold digger. They were definitely not held in high honor, and they were very vindictive and spiteful, and they were not compassionate, and they did some shady shit regarding some sort of information or communication to hurt someone, maybe to hurt the King of Wands.
someone was juggling. And there's a competition, and there's a lot of talking gossip about this competition. Who would be the better suitor? Who's the better match? What the fuck is this? Why are y'all up in this per- Man, these people are all up in everyone else's business within this family, whatever the situation is. There is an empress in the reverse. So somebody was juggling an empress in the reverse, or this empress was juggling somebody. And so there's a lot of talk about a competition between this empress and the reverse and a divine femme. This person was really evil. So there could be a lot of talk about somebody who's in poverty, but is going to be tasting that sweet life. So something could be working out for someone who may have been struggling a little bit financially. This Empress in the reverse was concerned about money, that's for sure. So, but And she was very evil about staying attached to someone because she didn't want to support herself. She didn't want to work. She was like a gold digger here. But there's a decision that needs to be made. And some heavy burdens. So this empress stole something that didn't belong to them and created barriers. So this feminine wanted a man, a masculine, that they were not supposed to be with. And then there were barriers. They, this person created barriers for this person so they couldn't leave. So they would be trapped. So that they could still use them for money. And someone has to make a decision. Someone's at a crossroads here. And whatever decision they're going to make could cause them some heavy burdens if they choose to separate from this person. Whoever they choose in this competition, whether it's knowingly or unknowingly competition. Um, this Empress and the Reverse, this Karmic Femme definitely saw this as a competition. And she was, she was wanting to do what it took to make sure that she won. So she was very vindictive and spiteful regarding whatever communication that she was doing. Once again, it could be like false allegations or something like that, but this person was a thief. She wanted to win at all costs because she's lazy. She doesn't want to work. She's a gold digger and she's not good with money. Yeah, this person was a thief, created barriers, and then, then, then this person expected to get some sort of money from it. Huh. <sighs> So maybe you had, um, I don't know, maybe like a brother situation? I don't know. I don't know, if you're a divine femme, like maybe you had two brothers within a family or two masculines within a family that were interested in you. Um, the family supported, you know, this union with the King of Wands, but this person necessarily wasn't the most committal were stable you know they got restless easily or they were bored you could have been bored in the situation if you dealt with them ultimately they ended up with someone else anyway but something is not going to be over soon relax it'll be over soon in the reverse fortune favors the brave something was fake love so someone who got into a relationship is not you know when they were faced with that decision at the wheel of fortune they made a decision that put them lower on the wheel of fortune because something's not going to be over soon. Something is fake love. This is unrequited love. Somebody doesn't love someone. They're just using them. There was a group involved. So a group was pressuring someone to stay in a marriage. So if this is somebody who was actually married to a gold digger, this is the kind of situation where um, a group may have pressured someone to stay within a marriage, even... If it wasn't necessarily their group, maybe they have a family together, maybe kids are involved and someone was crying. So, you know, there was um, some emotional manipulation done within a group here or a family or community. So it could have been like the karmic femme and her family that was involved in this. Um, I mean, it could be the masculine's family too, but I feel like there's a group here that supported this other union with the divine femme and not so much this one so i feel like there's a clashing of groups here of what they would like to have seen happen but anyway someone chose to stay with this person or move forward with this person it could have been her group like if she got pregnant that pressured this masculine into marrying her 
And so whatever decision they made, um, you know, this masculine made to stay attached to this person or commit to them, now there's a barrier there and they can't just like walk away. There's something that's keeping them stuck. And there's someone here who's guilty. I know a gold digger was using emotionally manipulative tactics. This gold digger probably got pregnant on purpose so that she would always have an attachment to this person and get some money. Someone needs to focus on themselves or someone has chosen to focus on themselves. What's holding you back? Someone needs a balanced diet and watch your spending. So, you know, if you're a divine femme and all this shit's going on, you're just minding your business. You're focused on yourself. You know, um, you could be eating a little bit better, watching your spending. There were children involved in this and someone has no shame. They were unapologetic. I knew it. Someone got pregnant on purpose so that they could stay attached to this masculine. Meanwhile, you're being guided by your ancestors. And you know what? This person didn't help you when you needed them. And there's something that someone's not seeing clearly. The fact that they're attached to a dark witch or a warlock. So this person that this masculine chose over you, this crazy ass femme, is actually a dark witch or a warlock. And my wife and I are very happier in the reverse. They're, this person is not happy. This marriage is hell. This person married a dark witch. They're going to have to be strong, though. Someone has to be strong. There's a false twin flame connection, and your ex-spouse is involved. And someone went broke, or they owed you money. So someone owes another person money. So your ex-spouse maybe owed you some money or was giving you some sort of money. This person is attached to their false twin flame. Your ex-spouse. So you were, for some of you, you were married to this person, and this is their other spouse. So this could have been their second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth marriage, whatever. Whatever marriage this person's on, okay? It is the king of wands, so let's not give this person a whole, you know, too much credit. However, this person could have been like your true twin flame or something like that, but this person is attached to their false twin flame at this time. Sucks to be them. Someone needs to walk away right now. This masculine needs to get the hell away from this person. That could be what this person was putting in the, their food or drink. If this was a dark witch or warlock, he could have been getting sick because she was putting shit in his food. She was doing spell work on him so that his ass wouldn't leave. And she's a gold digger. She wanted that money. The king or queen of swords could be, you know, like... Um, this person's parents, like this masculine's parents, um, it could be his brother or sister, it could have been your in-law, something like that. Um, you know, it could have been your sister and her husband, I don't know, but there's there's definitely family connections here, and there's different, there's at least like two different groups that don't necessarily agree on how all this situation should be played out, <laughs> as if it's all of their business, however... This is definitely playing out a certain kind of way. There's definitely a, a perfect storm brewing here. There's a big tower moment that's about to hit. When in divine timing. There's something significant about August and an Aquarius and January. Beggars can't be choosers. Someone's going to have money to burn or wanted money to burn, so... Someone was begging someone to be with them because they wanted money to burn, so somebody was using emotionally manipul manipulative tactics. Once again, we have August, Aquarius, and January. That could be significant. Yeah, somebody caused a heartbreaking situation here. So there could have been an Aquarius that caused a heartbreaking situation. Or someone had to heal. From a heartbreaking situation because of this you could be the Aquarius they could be the Aquarius someone's birthday could be in August or January someone with the initials E F G and H could be significant they could be an Aquarius here someone has an ace up their sleeve because someone sees them as cute as a button you know that could be you you know but you're just minding your business you're not even M N O or P and June could be significant we have a water sign. 
So once again, someone's birthday could be in June, um, or an event can, could be happening by June. Um, and then someone here is a water sign, and someone's initials are M, N, O, or P. And E, F, G, and H. So someone could be crying for all intents and purposes. Okay, so there's an Aries that it kind of flipped out sideways. It was supposed to be for all intents and purposes, but it kind of flipped over sideways as for an Aries. Someone doesn't have a clue how lucky someone is here because someone's being guided by their ancestors. So there's some sort of luck. Someone's gonna someone's keeping a secret. And someone doesn't have a clue about the secret, about how lucky someone actually is. But someone's afraid about this secret getting exposed and they're fit to be tied. But they want to jump into something with both feet. But someone is headed into a dark and stormy night or coming out of a dark and stormy night. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. So Aries is definitely most likely significant here. Water sign, water and fire sign heavy. So someone keep is keeping a secret within this family. I told you there's a family. For, there's some crazy shit going on within this family. But someone's afraid that someone may be speaking out or revealing a secret. It could be about a fire sign or it could be a fire sign that knows the secret. And someone's fit to be tied that someone wants to jump in with someone. And someone actually is going to come out of a dark and stormy night. So it's like, even if you're a divine femme and you're alone, um, you know, things may be kind of difficult for you if you're juggling money or finances if you're kind of in that page of pentacles or two of pentacles energy like having to juggle finances or jobs um i'm also seeing the fact that somebody secretly wants to jump in to a relationship with a divine femme has um, someone fit to be tied in it could be a fire sign that's scared about this happening and they're not happy about um this partnership or somebody revealing their feelings for you know this divine femme. Like I said, there's like two masculines here that are interested in um, this divine femme here. And we have A, B, C, and D on Monday. And then we have Thursday with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Something is out of balance with a Taurus. Something needs to be balanced out possibly with a Taurus or because of a Taurus. So something may be getting balanced out. And then we have Pisces fly the coop. So there's a Pisces here that could be flying the coop, getting the hell out of Dodge in the fall. So somebody could be moving, relocating. So someone could be at a distance from all this. But someone wants to live under the same roof as someone, and they're kind of three sheets to the wind. Someone's three sheets to the wind. Maybe because they live under the same roof as someone and they have to drink just to forget that they're married to this piece of work. I'm just, I'm just saying. But someone wants to live under the same roof as someone. Um, and by hook or crook, there's a Sagittarius here who feels backed up against the wall. And then there's a Cancer. So there's a Sagittarius who um, could have a Cancer backed up against the wall or vice versa. Just flip the rules as needed, however it goes. But, um... Someone lives under the same roof as, as the thief, and um, yeah, they're, you know someone is the thief, and they're backed up against the wall, and so they can't just take off and leave, but they're going to have to do something, because Pisces here is getting ready to fly the coop. Someone here is as ugly as sin when it comes to the real deal, the real McCoy. So someone is really dark, has really dark intentions regarding this real person, this, you know, this real deal. Because they didn't get their happily ever after and something's not moving forward for them. So there's someone here who's holding a, a grudge with someone who is like the real deal. So this would be like the, the Hierophant energy. And someone's hitting the panic button because they're under judgment. Someone could also be hitting the panic button. Um, because someone... 
someone could be finding out that this person was doing spell work on a divine femme as well. Like I said, someone was doing some really shady shit here. They're, this dark witch was a dark witch for a reason. Like, they, they weren't just sitting around and, you know, saying prayers for this divine femme. That much I can promise you. They wanted to take something. Someone as ugly as them, though. And it could be someone who wants you to see them as the real deal. Or somebody did something as ugly as sin and they're hitting the panic button. That could be the secret here. Maybe someone snuck down and saw the Divine Femme or something. Like, there, there's someone here that did something as ugly as sin with the real deal, the real McCoy. Or this is the real deal, the real McCoy who made a bad decision that was as ugly as sin and now someone's going to hit the panic button because of it. Because someone's under judgment, possibly for fucking up their happily ever after and not taking something to the next level. But I feel like it's the other way around. I feel like someone is being ugly as sin towards someone who, you know, who is the real deal. And they're hitting the panic button because they brought themselves under judgment because they ended up not getting their happily ever after. They didn't take the stuff to the next level with this person. They chose a ghoul digger over this person. And now the ghoul digger and possibly them. Well, I don't want to say them because they want to hook back up with the, with the divine femme. But yeah, they're being, but that's the secret. You're not supposed to know about it. Whoops. This masculine wants the divine femme, but they're not telling you that. Someone has high hopes here. So, someone has high hopes, but, you know, um, where someone's heart is content, you just, you know, this could be you, your heart's content, you accept things, it is what it is. Someone was under judgment and they were beating a dead horse by staying in this relationship as long as they did stay in this relationship. This is like that King, Queen of Wands energy. Capricorn could be significant. Um, they're never going to look back, okay? Um, yeah, someone's ancestors are rolling over in their grave because of what's been going on. I don't know. There's a divine union in this mess somewhere. <laughs> a divine counterpart. And it didn't go as planned. And so there's a lot of mess here that needs to be sorted out. Anyways, let's pull some letters. Person, place, or thing. Oops. I could be significant. B. Z. I don't know, I just heard Istanbul. <laughs> B. A. Babs or Bab could be significant. Someone's name could be Barbara. Maybe she goes by Babs for short. Izzy, Lizzie, or Elizabeth could be significant. E. Someone wants to call someone babe. Someone could be having a baby. T. Babette could be significant. Or Barrett. Bizet. Tabby. Tabitha could be significant. Another A. Tibet. Tibetian could be significant. And another E. So we're getting double letters here. I don't know what Babette is. Like, I've just. I see Babette. Like, I don't know. I've never heard of that. So we have I Z B A A. B-E-E-T. I hope this helps. Have a good day.